Hi, Cowboy T back, San Francisco Liver with a Gun. Uh, we just got through showing you the basics of how the lead hardness, lead hardness tester works. Now I'm going to show it to you um, in practice with six bullets sent to me from, um, by one of the guys on the Amosmith.com forums. Hi guys! So, here we go. There are these six here, okay? These six are .355 inch uh, truncated cone bullets uh, meant for 9mm and 3.8 ACP um, applications. Okay, um, I would imagine that if they were sized properly, they would also work fine for 357 Magnum. Um, these were sent to me to find out what the hardness is on these bullets. So we're going to find out right now with this hardness tester. Here we go. You just count 30 seconds. Yes, it's flush, and I'm just going to hold it right there. 8, 1,000, 9, 10. Mm -hmm. Just a simple 30 seconds is all you got to do. See? It's pretty easy stuff, actually. All you got to do is keep steady hands. 27, 28, 29, 30. And down we come. Now I'm going to measure the dip, the dimple, okay, with this little pocket microscope. Point five two. <clears throat> okay, according to our chart. 0.52 is a BHN of 19.3, which means the bullet has a strength of 27,447 psi, which means we can put 24,703 psi behind it and get optimum accuracy. So this is going to be fine for nine millimeter. So let's do the next one, okay? There we go. One, one, thousand. Good. Don't want to go over. Just like the price is right, do not go over. Hmm, I'm going to think of it. I haven't been reloading in a couple of months now. I need to do some. That press is just sitting there. That Pro 1000 is just screaming. Use me! Make ammo with me! Come on, Cowboy T! Ah, and there's 30 seconds for this one. Let's see how it turned out. <clears throat> Let's get our pocket microscope. And unfortunately, you can't really look through the microscope here the way this is going because of logistical issues. Just the way it is. Okay, this is showing at 0.52 as well. Okay, and we're going to look at our chart. By the way, that chart, where'd that come from? It came from the Lee Hardness uh, Testing Kit directions. Okay, that's this right here. This is what I'm looking at, all right? One division equals 0 0.002 inches, two thousandths of an inch, okay? That's the picture we're looking at, all right? That's what you get when you look through the pocket microscope like what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the whole set of directions. In here is the chart that I was looking at. So, we got 0 0.52 again. Gee, same as before. So, that means 24,703 PSI is the kind of load that we can put through there, or behind this bullet, okay? There you go. So we want that bull one. Let's do a third. And before we do that, 
Uh, Ms. BHC has a question. Now, you said in the diagram, in that circle, that there was a measurement. Is it the diameter of that depression or is it the radius? It is the diameter. Excellent question. By the way, that is Miss Bleeding Heart Conservative, my wonderful camera lady. Hi, everybody. Uh, <clears throat> what we're doing is we're measuring the diameter of this little bowl, ba this little bowl-looking depression that we see there. Cool. It's actually the, it's actually the diameter. Okay. And so we'll do one more of these, and if we do that, and they turn out to be the same, I think we can be reasonably assured that. Um, we're getting the same kind of measurement, okay? So, here we go again. Uh, okay, now we're touching. Here we go. One, two, three. That was a good question, by the way. I know. <laughs> well, I talk about a Mary Madeline and James Carville situation. <laughs> I love it. Me too. Thank you, honey. Hmm. Mwah. And it's been 20 seconds. Got 10 more to go. 8, 29, 30. And down we come. And let's take a look at the impression we're making upon this lead bullet. Ha ha ba dum bum. I'm getting a reading of like between 0.48 and 0.5 or point zero point point let me do that again point zero four eight and point zero five. Well let's look at our chart. Okay, this is why we measure several of them. So and we average them together and get an <clears throat> get some kind of average so we know what to do. Okay? So if we're at point zero four eight, which is up here, and we come across, we get a BHN of twenty two point seven which gives us a bullet strength of 32,356 32, PSI and which means we can put 29,120 PSI behind the bullet. If it's actually point zero five zero, that the diameter of that impression, we get these figures. BHN 20.9, um, bullet strength 29,755 PSI which means we can put 26,719 PSI behind the thing. Okay. So, it's good to take an average of several, okay? So I would say, if I were to uh, go through all these six, my guess um, would be that I would probably get about a BHN of maybe 0 .050, 0 .051. As long as you're reasonably close to that 10%, you're going to get acceptable accuracy and very minimal lighting. Um, these clearly are good for 9mm applications because uh, the pressures are right about there. And they would certainly be good for most 357 Magnum applications as well. Uh, they will work, this alloy strength will work for 38 Special, stock 38 Special, but it's better to use a softer alloy for that. I, I tend to prefer wheel weights for that sort of thing, more like a BHN of 11 or so. Uh, and for, of course, for you rifle aficionados, this is a bit soft unless you're downloading your, your load. Uh, these are perfect for 9mm. And hopefully you've gotten something about how to use the Lee Harness uh, Tester Kit. If you have any questions, just um, shoot me an email at cowboyt at sanfranciscoliberalwithagun.com. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. San Francisco Liberal. With a gun.